Is the room ready? Yes, sir. Don't forget, they are in honeymoon. So let's treat them as well as we can. Yes, sir. Go to the pier and pick them up, please. Look at the color of the sea. Yeah. Look at the house. It's awesome. How do you like your room? Lovely, thank you. Very nice, really. Excellent. So, welcome to the Coral Hotel. Lunch is at 1 p.m. and dinner at 8 p.m. Perfect. Okay. Have a nice honeymoon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, this place is amazing. Yeah, it is. So, after all them hours on the plane, I finally get you to myself. So, let's go upstairs and have sex. Baby, we had a long trip. I just have a look around and I'll be back. Just take a shower, okay? Okay, I'll shower and then I'll meet you back here. Okay. okay. See you then. Bye. Thank you. Okay. How long you work here? Mm, one year. Ah, do you like? Yes. Mm. You are so beautiful, you know. If I give you some money, you can be, make me an extra? Mm, here? Yes. Everybody's going away to the beach. Oh, okay. It's a good hotel, huh? Mm. Hi, honey. Hi, where have you been? I've been waiting for you for ages. Yeah, I was just walking around. It's such a beautiful place. You will like it. Good. Well, while you was looking around, I was taking a shower. And now I'm all clean for you. So, now we can make love. Baby, I'm too tired right now. I'm really hungry. So I take a shower and we'll meet downstairs for a dinner. Okay. So I'll see you then. Mmm. What a wonderful meal. Yeah, that was nice. Darling, let's go upstairs and make love. You know it's time for me to go jogging. So go upstairs and I'll be there soon, okay? Okay. You know, the couple that arrived today are on honeymoon. Really? Yeah. Hello? Oh, hello, Daddy. Yes, everything is great. Yes, we're having a fantastic time. Actually, today we're out on the boat fishing. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, Daddy, he's a changed man. He's with me all the time. Actually, he's right beside me. Yes, I will. I miss you too, Daddy. OK, bye. still dressed? Yeah. Why don't you come to bed with me? Honey, I feel really sick tonight. 
I think I go out, take a fresh air, and then I'll be back, okay? Really? I have a big headache and stomach problems, so I need to go out. Well, I'll come with you. Honey, we had a long trip. Just take a rest, and I'll be back soon, I promise you, okay? Okay. Hi, honey. How are you? Richard, where the hell have you been? I've been waiting for you at least two hours. I was in the boat, looking for nice places. Well, if you would have asked, I would have come with you. Come on, but you were sleeping. <sighs> I would take you with me. Next time, OK? I promise you. OK. okay. I wish you'd ask me in future. OK, I will. So, Miki, we have a deal. She will try to pick up Richard at the hotel. He will try to kiss her, to touch her and everything. And you will fuck with his wife, OK? Of course, you will be paid for this. Oh, hmm? Of course, everything okay. is OK. OK. OK, now I will go back and try to sleep a little bit, because I'm tired. Hey, my friend, why you don't stay with us and take the sun together? Hmm? Yes, stay here. You are very nice. Sure? Sure. You don't mind? No. Daddy, no. You know he's not like that no more. Not since we got married. He can't go away for days. He's with me 24 hours a day. Our relationship's perfect. Yes, I know, but he's so good now, you know? Marriage has changed him. But, Dad... I have to go now because he waits for me and we go on an excursion. OK? Yes. I love you too, Daddy. Sorry, madam, if I bother you. Yes. The things that I heard are not true. What do you mean? I mean that I know things about your husband that you don't know. He's really cheating on you. <laughs> and how do you know this? Well, I know it because I work in this place, and I see many things. I do not believe you. Please, will you just leave me alone? Yes, of course, madam. But if you just follow me for a while, i show you what your husband is just doing right now. But you are married. Isabel. Don't worry about my wife. She's nothing for me. I married her just because of the money. Do you trust me? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. I don't believe this. I have to leave this island. I have to divorce that fucking bastard. But I need a boat to get me off this island. I need a taxi. Oh, shit. I need to change the date on my ticket. Can you do this for me? Yes, madam, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but I think he should pay, you know, for what he did. You should punish him. How? The same way that he did to you. Do you mean fuck a stranger? But I've never done that before. And I don't know nobody here. Oh, this is not a problem. Let's do like this. Tomorrow. You go at the pier at 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. There will be nobody except for two friends of mine that will be very happy to see you. Yes. That's what I should do. I will get my revenge on that cheating fucking bastard. I will fuck the two guys. I've been good to him until now. Now I will be a bitch. Good. And tomorrow, I will arrange everything to make you leave from this island. Good. I will get my revenge. You look so beautiful tonight, baby. Richard, I'm tired. I have to be up at six in the morning because of my excursion. But we didn't make a laugh since we got here. Come on. 
We have plenty of time for that. Richard, why don't you just go to sleep? Are you sure you don't want to stay longer? No, I have to go. Nobody here. The bar is closed. Come on, we can have some fun, huh? Um, I go. Good night. Good night. Richard. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Fine, thank you. What do you want? I don't work here, you know. I'm a private investigator, sent by your father-in-law to control you. What do you mean? You know, with the girls. I got the photos. Yeah, but why should I give to, to him? He already paid me. Why should I destroy you? I like you. So, here is what we do. You give me some money. And I forget you. I give you the proofs. But I don't have any money. My wife has the money. You know that? Yes, I know. But I know that you can use her credit card. The platinum one. Correct. And I know that you can take $100,000 per day. That's right. So, that's what we do. You go out from here. You go to the cash machine, you take the money, you give it to me, and I give you the proofs, so that you can destroy them. Okay, there is nothing I can do. Listen, we will meet here in one hour. You will get the money. But don't forget to bring the photos. Okay, sure, we have a deal. Deal. Bye. Oh, finally! Did you manage to arrange a boat and sort out a taxi? Did you change the date on my air ticket? Yes, madam. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, but madam, we have a problem. Really? What kind of problem? You know, yesterday, a private investigator came on the island, sent by your father to control your husband. And the problem is that he saw you fucking with the two guys. Oh, no. Oh, God. If my father finds out, he leaves me nothing. Nothing. He gives it all to the bitch of a sister. Well, maybe I have a solution. You know, I know that guy. He is a friend of mine. And actually, I already spoke to him. So, if we give him some money, you know, he doesn't report anything to your father. Money is not a problem for me. Not a problem at all. My problem is that I only have $60,000 in traveler's checks. Is that enough? Mm, yes. And then my problem, if I give him the money, I have no money for you. Madam, I didn't do this for money. I did it because I like you. I always liked you. Since I saw you the first time at the pier, <laughs> of course I'm not a private investigator. I work in the hotels where people come on honeymoon. Because you see, between them, there will be always someone who cheats on the partner. And I must take advantage of it. With this couple, I get $160,000. Tomorrow, I'll move into another hotel where people come on honeymoon. And who knows, maybe I'll make more money. Because you see, this is my real job. 